While hairspray chipping gives us the effect of pain distress due to abrasion, with the masking fluid technique we can get the appearance of paint chipped from impacts and similar events. The base layer in this case is aluminum color but you can have primer or whatever your project needs. One way to apply the masking fluid is with sponge. This will add random specks and shapes which is a good thing for a dose of realism. After dipping the sponge in the masking fluid I unload the majority of the fluid on a paper towel and then apply the rest on the model. This allows for sharper results and a better control in general. If the masking fluid on your sponge is starting to dry out, it is possible for it to start lifting the already applied and dried fluid on the model, so take this into account. If you want to be more specific in your chipping, let's say you are trying to replicate a specific aircraft, you can apply the masking fluid with a brush, it is as easy as painting. And my only advice here will be to clean your brush in water after each application. The removal of the masking is simple, you can use your fingers, eraser, silicone brush and even tweezers or toothpick if you can be careful enough not to damage the rest of the paint. My favorite masking fluid this far is definitely the one from Aptelung 502. I will leave a link in the description box so you can check it out. Thank you for watching and until next time, happy modeling fellas!